Hello, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Faraz Ahmed and today in this video we are going to discuss about the cement station of INFL axis. So here you can see in this slide I have discussed a general approach of the cement station. I have made a video on the general approach of the cement station. You can watch that video and now using this general approach we are going to discuss about the NFL axis station which come in the cement station. Surgery, blood transfusion, and shortness of breath so you will uh, keep in your mind from the outside the door that this could be the same man of the nfl axis so when you will enter the room after your introduction you will say exam first of all you have to maintain the safety so loudly say examiner assume i have taken all the universal precautions and then after saying this you will move toward the same man that will be your patient and you will introduce yourself and you will do the acknowledgement you will say hello it's dr ahmad one of the doctor at this department I can see you are struggling for breathing you are struggling for air could you please confirm your full name and age for me patient will reply patient can reply Adam doctor my age is 45 year old so after that if you see that patient is able to talk what you will do you will ask please tell me what exactly happened to you patient will tell you about like doctor i am unable to catch my breathing patient will tell you about the shortness of breath when patient tell you about the shortness of breath you should ask these questions like when did it start how did it start any okay you have to ask this question when did it start how did it start what were you doing when it started anything significant happened before this start patient will tell you uh, by his own the doctor after the start of the blood transfusion after start of antibiotic or after the insertion of this catheter I am I am having this problem so in the anaphylaxis you have to ask about three things like blood transfusion antibiotics and catheter okay so after asking these two questions and three questions regarding blood transfusion antibiotic and catheter what you will do you will ask MMA any past medical condition any medication any allergies then you will ask about the smoker cuff this is important okay then you will see uh, semen will be attached uh, to the blood in most of the cases almost in 100 percent cases blood will be attached to the semen so what you will do so you will say adam i am going to assess you it will include look feel tab and listen to the different parts of your body please be assured a member of medical team is with me he is acting as a chaperone and we are maintaining your privacy okay so after this after taking the very very short history within 30 to 40 seconds and after verbalizing this thing you will look at the monitor then you will see i can see my patient is attached to the monitor and i will start the a b c d e approach after looking at monitor start a b c d e approach so on the a airway then you will look at where lips tongue and for foreign body and you will verbalize i am looking for lip swelling tongue swelling and i can see that lip swelling is present in this case tongue swelling is present in this case these findings will be present in the anaphylaxis case so what you have to do so you know that patient underwent surgery you know about the complete triad patient is receiving blood and patient is having shortness of breath and now you can see that lips are swelling and tongue is swelling so these are the basically history and signs of what anaphylaxis so what you will do you will directly stop everything which is going to the patient you will stop the blood you will remove the catheter and if some antibiotic is going I, uh, through the IV line you will stop the antibiotic as well so immediately you will uh, stop blood you will remove antibiotic and you will remove the catheter as well okay so after doing this what you will do you will give the injection adrenaline adrenaline will be there uh, in the draw you will take the adrenaline and you will give 0.5 ml of adrenaline one in thousand titration on the thigh okay after removing and after giving the adrenaline injection then you will move toward the oxygen if oxygen saturations are low then what you will do you will attach the 15 liter of oxygen 100% via non rebreather mask so after giving adrenaline and after attaching the oxygen you will ask how are you feeling now adam then patient will tell you doctor i am feeling better or i am not feeling better 
so then you will after the a you will move toward the b and please keep in mind that the things which are specified to anaphylaxis case i have used this pink color and arrows rest of the things are general but the things with arrow and the pink color they are related to anaphylaxis so in the breathing you will say adam i am going to unbutton your shirt to see your chest it will include look feel i will also feel your windpipe okay tap and listen to your chest then what you will do you will completely you will look at the chest then you will uh, feel the chest you will tap at the chest after this you will auscultate you will listen to the chest and on the auscultation you will find the v's if there is v's what you will do you will give 5 mg salbutamol via oxygen driven mask so here you have to change the mask because it was uh, oxygen was given with a non rebreather mask so there is a v's and now you will change the mask to the nebulizer mask with oxygen okay so you will change the mask and you will add the salbutamol so after doing this you will say you have to verbalize that i i am going to order chest x ray ebg uh, ecg and abg for my patient you have to verbalize these three things please never ever forget these things in the breathing b part so after doing this while you will be looking at the chest you will look sometimes there will could be the rashes on chest in anaphylaxis case rashes would be there but sometimes they are at the chest and sometimes rashes would be at the legs so uh, suppose there are the rashes on the chest and you have observed this after giving the salbutamol you will ask how are you feeling now okay so now you have done a and b now you are moving toward the c so after a and b we will move toward the c that is circulation <clears throat> so in the circulation we will look for three things okay we will pinch the finger to check the perfusion and we will take the pulse and bp perfusion pulse and bp you will verbalize adam i am going to pinch your finger uh, i will take your pulse and blood pressure and then we will comment on the blood pressure and pulse and according to the blood pressure reading we will act accordingly keep in mind we will act accordingly okay like blood pressure is normal then we will only insert one cannula all right if blood pressure is low then we are going to insert the two large bore iv cannulas okay we will verbalize i am going to insert one or two large bore cannulas as per the need then we will take blood as well so this is the case of anaphylaxis please keep in mind you have to verbalize the blood test correctly which blood test we are going to do cbc blood group cross match inflammatory and infection markers and routine blood investigations please keep in mind blood group and cross match never ever try to forget these two after that you will also verbalize i am going to request 6 unit of o negative blood 6 units of o negative blood because you have given the blood to patient patient is allergic to it uh, uh, now patient uh, uh, hb was low this was the reason patient was receiving the blood so we have to transfuse the blood and we are ordering o negative blood 6 unit so now we have passed the cannula and if blood pressure was low we will attach 500 ml of the uh, normal saline and because there was rashes on the chest so we will give the uh, we will manage blood pressure accordingly and we will give the injection of the chlorpheniramine 10 to 20 mg iv we will give chlorpheniramine 10 mg iv after giving the injection we will ask how are you feeling now mr adam okay and then we will look at the oxygen if oxygen is still low we will repeat the salbutamol keep in mind if oxygen is still low we will repeat the salbutamol nebulization after this c we will move toward the d that is deformity in the d keep in mind blood pressure no oh, sorry blood sugar temperature and can you move your right leg or left leg for me okay you will ask this so then doing this you will say how are you feeling now please keep in mind to check the blood sugar uh, you will have to take the glucometer and place on the finger of the patient all right and take the temperature from the monitor and you will ask the patient to move the leg then you will ask how are you feeling now if oxygen saturation is still low and patient is still a shortness of breath okay then you will what you will do you will repeat the injection adrenaline 0.5 ml 1 in 1000 titration after repeating the adrenaline injection then we will move toward the exposure 
exposure is very very important because patient has undergone surgery so we will look at the surgical site we will look at the tummy abdomen check the wound site any bleed discharge and swelling and we will comment on it then we will check the private area because in the start we have removed the catheter so here we will insert the catheter keep in mind that we have to reinsert the catheter as well private area insert the catheter and monitor the urine output then we will move toward the leg why we are moving toward the leg i have mentioned that sometimes there could be rash on the chest and sometimes there could be the rash on the legs as well so basically in the anaphylaxis station what why we are moving towards the legs to check the rashes then we will reassess the patient still low we will give the more fluid or if uh, blood pressure is improved then we will start discussion with the patient how we will start the discussion with patient we will ask how are you feeling now patient will say doctor i'm feeling better then we will explain the condition and management which you have done like you can explain adam uh, as you underwent surgery and after the surgery we were giving you the blood and i suspect that you are having an allergic reaction to that blood so we have stopped the blood we have given you the injections uh, to treat the allergy and we have sent the blood for the some test as well so this is what you have explained and management which you have done to the patient then you will say i am going to admit you i will involve my senior our specialist i can involve the allergy specialist and we will do the further test as well and the other thing because this is a mistake due to a mistake in the cross matching of the blood this incident happens so we will fill the incident form as well please never ever try to forget this incident form in anaphylaxis uh semen station okay so the things which we have to do in the semen station i have mentioned again that i have written these things with the pink color and with the arrows so stop everything give adrenaline look for the rash give the salbutamol okay manage the blood pressure accordingly injection chlorpheniramine still swelling give the ad another adrenaline injection after that incident form so these things with arrows and pink color these are the key points in the semen station of anaphylaxis so i'm hopeful that this video will definitely help you thank you very much